Yeah, well, here's another oscilloscope. Now, you might be getting tired of seeing all these oscilloscopes, but you know, I uh, these were all going to be thrown away. And I just couldn't see them go. So, uh, I picked them all up. I got like three of these big ones. And uh, this one right here, which I've already uh, got working, and it's up on my bench. So, this isn't exactly a oscilloscope, it's a uh, Type 575 uh, transistor curve tracer. And uh, trying to find out more information on this guy, I was uh, looking at a YouTube channel last night. This guy, uh, M2 Circuits did a nice series on how to use this uh, curve tracer and it got me really interested in it so I thought I'd put this one up on the bench I powered it up and I know it has a trace so I think I'm gonna clean it up um, and uh, see if I can play with it a little bit All right, that looks a lot better already I can actually uh, read the controls now of this curve tracer and I just cleaned it up with the uh, you know a damp cloth some crud cutter a little toothbrush in certain areas and there's more to do but it's not so bad right now so let's fire it up see what happens now these things since they're full of vacuum tubes take a little while to come on you can see we got scale illumination already so that's little lamp is working I have no idea how to use this thing and I watched the videos that the guy did but uh, I wanted to go back and rewatch them again and luckily there's a uh, a lot of um, documentation on these tectronics scopes so you can usually download that for free, and they're huge manuals, hundreds of pages. Let's see if we get any. Oh, there we go. Got a little trace. Okay. Of course, no curves because there's not any uh, transistors hooked up to it, but we do have uh, indications that the CRT is good, so maybe this thing will work. So time for me to continue cleaning and uh, learn more about this so that I can test it. And then eventually I'll take the sides off. We'll go in and take a look at the vacuum tubes. Maybe try to clean up on the inside a little bit too. Uh, it looks like this thing's going to go. It's going to be a good one. And I'll add it to my current collection of vintage uh, tectronic scopes. We have to build another scope table for it if I decide to uh, use it. There we go. Got a trace. And this is settling out. It was jumping around a lot with uh, as I was changing the um, the controls and it could be just uh, that they're really dirty. It actually seems to be getting better as I play with a little bit. But luckily this came with a whole bunch of test transistors so I just grabbed one of those out of there, tested it with my little multifunction tester to see if it was good. And it was a regular bipolar junction transistor so I hooked it up and yeah, we're getting some uh, traces. So I think I'm gonna have to download some documentation and uh, watch some videos and uh, try to be able to decipher what I'm looking at here. But Looks like the uh, transistor curve tracer is a good one. Okay, this is still working. It seems to be working better and better as I kind of play with the switches. I think they're just, they're pretty dirty. And on the inside, you can see there's kind of a layer of dirt there. This one doesn't have as many tubes as some of the oscilloscopes. But definitely, definitely very uh, good dust buildup. So I think I'll get in there and, um, of course, turn this thing off, unplug it, and then get in there and try to clean it up. Uh, maybe blow it out with some um, 
my compressor, get most of the dust off of it. So, look at the size of that, uh, that pot there. The big old wire round sucker. Anyway, I'm glad it's working. Now I'll try to clean up the controls here on the back side and uh, clean up the chassis. Maybe check some of those tubes, but they all seem to be working. And then uh, just try to learn uh, what curve tracers do. I've never really played with one of these. You know, when I was electrical engineer and designing circuits, I was doing all digital stuff. So I never really played with this analog uh, transistor stuff. So it'll be a nice little learning experience. So that's it for this one. Another uh, free piece of uh, vintage uh, test equipment that uh, works right out of the, right out of the box.